Well, this Memorial Day and added reason for thanks at the Soldiers and Sailors Monument in Nashville. WMUR Suzanne Roantree shows us how the landmark has been made whole again. The Soldiers and Sailors Monument in downtown Nashua has been standing here for nearly 130 years, but for decades it was missing one thing until now. Made of granite and bronze, the Soldiers and Sailors Monument was erected in 1889. But about 40 years ago, the bronze sword in the soldier's hand disappeared twice. Nashua native and veteran Richard Wirewitz says he's wanted to see that sword replaced for years. When I was a kid, I used to come up here with my dad, sit on the cannons, and told, he told me about the war because he was in the Second World War. And a few months ago, Wirewitz had a chat with Lori Galbo at her downtown shop. That's when a plan was set into motion to restore the statue. And I thought, you know what, let's do it. Let's see if we can get it accomplished by Memorial Day to honor our veterans. She's a bulldog, and so I told her, and she just carried it through. I spoke with people in City Hall, to the Department of Parks and Recreation, and then I called Make It Labs, and it all started to just work. Mordecai Velt of Make It Labs says the tricky part was finding out what kind of sword the soldier had been holding. We had a couple of really grainy pictures in an old book about this monument, but by looking at the type of hilt that is up there and uh, doing some historical research, it's a specific naval cutlass that was an M1841 by Ames. The sword, now bolted into the monument, is made of urethane resin and covered with a special powder to make it look like bronze. Now that the project is complete, hopefully that sword will stay there forever. In Nashua, Suzanne Rontree, WMUR News 9.